Hey guys, welcome to the tabletop review of the Tasmanian Tiger TT Case S. Uh, S does stand for small. They do make a larger version of this case. Now I'm going to cover areas of the product, of materials, benefits, features, and what I recommend in this case. Now Tasmanian Tiger, full disclosure, did send me out this case for review and test and evaluation. Now. On top of that, I have had this case for about a month and a half and have used it as my everyday carry and brought it into that stuff. So we're going to get into the features of this case first. Now let's show some good features of this case. This case has a very nice highly padded shoulder strap. The shoulder strap is extra long shoulder strap is also the benefit of removing it very easily if you don't want it there so just that simple now it's a handheld case now case also has a strap on the back that's for luggage and uses that and it also has a pocket in the back that zips up so you can put documents passports and like that keep them close to you and fully concealable so, it's got a pocket here on the side. Carry a spare magazine if you choose to. Now, huh, it does have two releasable latches on the front. It is a Velcro enclosure. Now, it does have laser cut molly rack system right here. So, you can put a spare pocket or anything you please right there. It's your, your choice. They have a beautiful logo, too. I love that uh, gray on black. Now, some of the features is they do have a molly rack system here on the front. It is a 4x3 system. Now, you can place whatever you want there. Packs, mag holder, uh, small first aid kit. I have the knife there as a demo. It is my, uh, my backup Gerber. Now, they do have a zip down system here in the front where I usually keep spare canola bar, uh, Zeiss wipes because I wear glasses as you guys haven't noticed in some of my other videos and you got to keep those things clean and you've got other areas like you can put charging cables or if you have a smaller gun, uh, smaller magazines you can keep them there. There's pencil holders there. It's a nice key ring, nice document, small document holder right there. Now let's get to the top. Now, up here, I do have a spare notebook. I do keep notes with me. Now, I do have my Glock 19 inside the case. It's fully unloaded. Um, this is one of my everyday carries. Now, the reason why I do have this is because of the Velcro backing. Now, we're going to get to the reason why. Now, I don't have this on the backing right now because I don't have it set up for using it as a business work case. I have it as my everyday case. So, you guys will be seeing a full review on this holster. And I'll let you guys keep the suspense on you guys figure out who makes that holster. I'll leave a link down below. Now, it does have a removable storage pouch, which is nice because it has a small pocket here. Carry three pens, ID holder or business card holder to identify just in case you lost it. Another small pocket right there. Spare headphones, because you never know when you're going to need them. And a very big storage pocket. Um, yes, I keep an substantial amount of chargers and cords with me. And a nice little carry handle. And what's nice is Tasmanian Tiger puts their logo on it too. Set that back there. Now, inside is one of the big main features is right here it is a velcro textured laser cut molly rock system now like i said the reasons why i like this whole i have this holster and i like it is and i'm meeting with a client everything's closed up and sealed now i can have a backup pistol with me just in case i need it thumbs out retention is very nicely 
holds the holster and the firearm up very nicely. And here you can probably carry up to about, I want to say a 13 inch uh, laptop, MacBook. Holds a 10 and a half inch iPad, no problem. I have a keyboard. That's probably about the size of an iPad mini. Spare battery backup because you never know when you're going to be in the field and need some extra power for your phone. Now, the reasons why I like this case is one, it's very padded, so it's very rugged, it's very durable. Um, I've carried this pack for about a month and a half now, like I've said before, and I have not had any issues with it. Now, Tasmanian Tiger is just now breaking into the U.S. market, into the law enforcement military civilian market, and they sent me that. So, I really like it. Would I buy it myself? Yes, I would. I think the pack is very versatile, very um, utilitized for what it is. It's very lightweight, but it's very durable. The craftsmanship is amazing on this. I mean, you don't see a wrinkle in the stitching at all. And for, sorry about the dog here, my dog is shitting. Um, and I don't think you're gonna get a better pack or the money, especially if you're looking for a tactical pack. Now, I wanna say thank you for watching the video. Hit the like button down below. Hit the notification bell down there for when new videos launch. We're going to start trying to launch a new video every week. Uh, hit the subscribe button for future content. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys in the next one.